But I do want to ask you about the Planet Forward connection here, because what we're trying to do, one of our goals of planetforward.org, is to bring innovators and experts and citizens together. Uh, and we bring students into that as yes. well. We'd love to catalyze that kind of innovative spirit. Are we on the right track here? Yeah, I think uh, I think one of the things that impressed me from the start about Planet Forward was the way in which it wasn't just you know developing material in advance and presenting it to the audience, but actually engaging the audience, including students, and not just at our institution, but from around the country, in uh, sort of shipping in their innovations to be part of the discussion and part of the program. So the way that you could have videos submitted uh, from uh, outside the institution, and they would be kind of factored into the program, and it would be real time, and interactive, I think that's been a principle from the start. And of course, it responds to the to the habits and the skills of this generation of students, who, in fact, are really engaged in that kind of real time communication. Yeah, if sustainability is going to be real, and something that we buy on, buy on to, it can't be from the top down. It's got to be from the bottom up. Absolutely. People have to get it and want to be part of it. And that kind and of conversation really excited is what we're trying to do. And that's one of the things we're trying to accomplish with the Innovation Summit, with the Planet Forward Innovation Summit. And there's going to be lots of material on that. Um, we're going to be bringing together mayors and entrepreneurs and people who are involved in the in the in the in the science and the politics of this whole thing. What would you like to see come out of this kind of convening that we can do at this kind of university? Well, I think for one thing, uh, we we do have a unique platform being located here in Washington D.C. because we have ready access to. Uh, leaders uh, really across not just the government, uh, governmental agencies that surround us, but also the nonprofit organizations which are, you know, throughout this uh, city, but in, but also students. I think produced by all the institutions here in, in the District of Columbia have a particularly strong interest in making a difference in the world. That's one of the reasons they come to Washington D.C. to study. So it does give us, uh, we, you know, whenever we have an event uh, on this subject, we can guarantee. A full house. In fact, we often have uh, lines of students who aren't able to get in because we've already filled up the auditoriums in which we have these discussions. So, the contribution I think that we can make is to become a trusted source of expertise for the institutions and the agencies that surround us in this area and a respected convener of these conversations because I think they're going to know that we're not going to, if we take on one of these subjects, we're not going to try to push a particular interpretation or a particular technology. We're going to weigh the pros and cons. We're going to look at what the real obstacles are to the adapting of, um, of technologies and the adoption of technologies. We're going to look at all that and we're going to uh, take it into account from the broadest possible range of intellectual perspectives and engaging all levels of our university community and our neighbors and that include you know the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, the FDA and all the rest of it. World so Bank, State can, Department, we it's can global, pull, right? We can pull all that together here so in this institution. So you, you, you see a special place, a special role for universities in the sustainability issue? Yeah, because I think again what universities really ought to, ought to be are trusted sources of expertise. Uh, they, they don't really have an axe to grind. Uh, they're not pushing a particular technology uh, and I think they can weigh the pros and cons of all the innovations that come before them and of course they can generate, they can draw on innovations from a much broader range range of, uh, of, of, of generations and everything else that are, that are readily available to, uh, to industry out there because we do have students who, by the way, are doing this on a volunteer basis very often. So you don't have to invest a huge amount to get these ideas generated. That's one of the things that we saw with the Clinton Global Initiative University. We have over 900 projects from 82 universities, 300, 82 countries rather, 300 universities from, uh, from around the world all coming together and these are all volunteer projects. None of these were really the result of, uh, of you know, a yeah. lot of capital being invested. No, it's fabulous stuff. And you know, it's, it, it's in their interests, right? Because these students are going to live to into the 2070s, beyond in some yes. cases. I mean, yeah, it's well an, beyond. And, and it's, a, it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing. Well, I think the news out of our conversation is we're going to have a Planet Forward Bamboo Bike Race. Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll meet you out there on the, on the tarmac. Okay, it's a challenge. <laughs> President Steve Knapp, thanks very much. My pleasure. Now it's back to you, to our Planet Forward followers. We'd like your questions for our conference and our conferees. You can see all the information here on the site, who's attending, where we're going. We will incorporate your questions and your comments into the conversation throughout the day. We, of course, also want your ideas and your innovations. You can upload all of that at planetforward.org.